B2Web here. We've now installed WordPress on the domain. It's time what I to do what I call the preliminary setup before we get the WordPress theme on. The very first thing I always do once I've installed uh, WordPress is I go to user's profile and I change my password. Update the profile. Next thing I always do is I go change the permalinks. It has a default. Permalinks are the links uh, that will be for the URLs of your pages and posts that go. I'm at the top here. You can see this part here is the second part of the URL and if you add a blog post or a page that's where it may be. It may go into a third part if you use you know, a parent uh, setup with pages. Anyways, I like to change that from the default to a custom structure and all I do is take all that out and I do just a post name. So what happens is is that the remaining URL for any new post or page will simply be by default the title of the post or page or inside the um, editor I can uh, customize the URL any way I like. That's way the, the date and uh, any other information is not put in the URL. Always save your changes down at the bottom left here once you make a change. The next part of the uh, prelim preliminary setup here is a general. This is quick. Uh, you can put in your site title. Uh, you can have a tagline if you like. And you may want to change the time zone of your website. And that's about it. If you're a business, you might put your business name. You might put in some keywords. We'll get into the SEO stuff in a, in a later video. There'll be a whole video dedicated to setting up your SEO save your changes. And the final part of our preliminary setup is I like to get my real basic plugins installed right out of the gate here. Uh, I often use Contact Form 7 as the contact form on my websites. And there it is. So under plugins, add new, search for it, install it. And there we go activate it. And that's the process for adding a plugin. It's really simple. I won't take you through all the ones. Right now what I do have active is I have also uh, the Google XML sitemaps which creates a, uh, a sitemap for the site. I added this. It's not by default. WP Cycle, also a free one. This creates a slideshow for the home page which we'll get into in another video. And WP Super Cache was actually in here by default. Just uh, I didn't, I didn't add it. It's there. It's good. It just speeds up loading time of your pages. I see. I, I keep them in there, but you can do what you like. I recommend you keep it. So these are the four basic plugins. We'll be adding more. It depends what functionality you want in your website. For instance, uh, you know, for your business, if you're a local business, you might want to add in some uh, some maps, and we can do that with a plugin. You may want to add some testimonials. You may want to create a mobile version. These are all sorts of uh, little features we're going to go through in other videos that you can do to make even a better business website. And that's what I do uh, to get a site, uh, what I call the preliminary tasks or set up for a WordPress website. And the next uh, step will be adding in our themes and start the design and getting the site up and running. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.